we're back here with another video if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe we oh i'm so rude i'm qah and got stuck during the domain because of course for your verse love to do the most when it comes to puzzles and think anybody like me was going to finish this no so i'm going to react to part two through six but two is the main one i'm going to focus on then i'm going to jump to six i'm going to get to those later right now the biggest thing i want to finish as kai's was and then i want to jump into the fatuis sorry to pause it it's also going to be a little mook mook got my ghetto little sandwich my ghetto little nachos here along with my little zebra cake except that some places are a little peculiar <laughs> the servants of darkness have descended rejoice for the return of the Imanach Reich is nigh main Fräulein means that this is an unexpected development and she has never seen anything like this before no that's not even close to what she said oh my apologies Please take that as my own opinion. After last night, there have been some unusual spectacles on this island. Yes, swimming birds, flying squirrels, the sun and moon in the sky together. Some of these sights only lasted for a moment, but that doesn't make it any less bizarre. I heard a strange flapping sound on the island, but didn't see a single flying creature around. There was also a peculiar floral scent on the wind. Though there are many flowers on this island, that scent did not resemble any of them. Seems to me like whatever these things are, they aren't visible to the naked eye. I tried to perform a divination, but my scryglass showed only a chaotic mess that was impossible to decipher. Oh, I might have a bad feeling about this. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Hmm. I had resolved to summon the Imanachreich in this land, but now we observe these puzzling phenomena. Could this be the spawn of the condemned, trying to thwart my sacred endeavor? Wait, you don't think Alice could be behind all this, do you? But if it really was her, it wouldn't make sense to do all this. <laughs> ah, look at them, old chap. Seems we scared the pants off them. I will. They've never seen anything like this before. This old boat sailed all over the briny seas in its time, and tried talking to many a sailor, too. But in... Exactly! If it weren't for this environment, who would've... I forgot how much nonsense they love to talk and filter out the main important details. God, humans would be able to chat with us. This environment? What do you mean by that? Oh, the environment? Could it be that... that the environment is what's interfering with my divinations? Ah, uh, even if you were, dreams aren't supposed to become reality, right? And a dream won't make you suddenly understand boats and squirrels! Uh, ah! What's wrong? Look! Over there! Okay, I think I remember this part. This is the part where everyone starts dividing up and talking about where they're going to explore this, that, and the third. And I think that Purple Storm-ish is a segue into Fischl's story quest. An illusion? No, 
This mean behold Eat main Freud. We all have win She looks so happy. If this isn't an illusion, we ought to go and investigate. I got an idea. If you hurt yourself in a dream, you wake up right away, don't you? Didn't expect to see you here. This is a bonsai pot, right? It's nice, but it looks like it's been a little neglected. This bonsai was in my family for many generations. I saw it once in a Tenryo Commission warehouse, but it looked quite different from how it does now. At that time, there was a withered tree inside. Why would someone keep the plant in there if it's dead? It's a way of sending a secret message. It indicated that there was something hidden inside the flower pot. There was a letter buried down at the bottom, which told of an ancient secret in my clan. I did not take the bonsai with me after reading the letter, which means it should still be in the warehouse now. I wonder who removed the plant and placed the pot here. So the bonsai pot belonged to your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Huh. Kaza, what do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? <laughs> All right. Though I still don't understand why it has appeared here. I can give that a try. This is where it jumps into the annoying domain. <clears throat> I'm just focused on the quest for now and not the gameplay. for many generations. Kazuha, the future of this clan will one day be in your hands. When that time comes, remember to always stay true to yourself. I heard an old man say something about the Kaedeharas. Sounds like it might be Kazuha's grandfather. What if y'all all could be knocked out right now and this is just a lucid dream? Like a fake awakening. That'd be dope. It appears that this whole maze is modeled after my family home. And all the conversations you heard in there are in fact words once spoken by my father and grandfather. You said that the maze is trying to keep me out. Indeed, I'm the only one unable to explore this place. I think these unusual structures are some kind of mirage. According to what Kazuha said, all this seems to be constructed based on Kazuha's memory. Hmm. But why should Lord Kazuha be the only one excluded? Maybe that comes from me too. To me, what is past is gone. Everything in the world is guided by its own rules, and as for people, we can never relive the past. I think that this belief is the reason why the Mirage was keeping me out. Oh, I can get behind that. It's a very sensible way of looking at things. All our thoughts have consequences. 
I don't consider it strange, and I don't think it's anything you should be worried about. <sighs> we got in here by touching the bonsai, didn't we? So perhaps, if we touch it again... in the mirage could be related to the bonsai. My father once mentioned that this pot was originally part of a collection belonging to my great-grandfather. He adored his bonsai and always took great care of them. When our family fell upon hard times, my grandfather traveled far and wide looking for a way to save the clan. However, during that time, my great-grandfather became gravely ill. He knew my grandfather had no interest in bonsai. So before his death, he gave most of his carefully crafted bonsai away. This is the only one he retained. To hide the letter with that secret in it, right? Yes, and to give his son something to remember him by. My grandfather returned quickly as he could, but my great-grandfather had already passed away. They never got the chance to say goodbye to each other before the end. After that, my grandfather would spend long periods of time standing in front of this bonsai, lost in thought. Eventually, he started to make his own bonsai. Unlike his father, he preferred arranging rock gardens instead of plants. Perhaps influenced by my grandfather, my father also took a liking to crafting bonsai. Back then, our courtyard was filled with all kinds of them. And this flower pot was passed down to me as a family treasure. It's certainly no coincidence that it appeared here and became the entrance to the mirage. It's almost as if it's giving me a chance to make up for past regrets. There was once a time when the Kaidaharas were an illustrious clan in Inazuma. After the Raiden Gokaden incident, our clan's fortunes took a turn for the worse. By the time of my generation, our downfall was complete. Later, I fled Inazuma, as I didn't want to be arrested. With no one left in the Kaidahara clan, the authorities confiscated everything in our home, including this bonsai. Like my ancestors before me, I think I'd like to try it out for myself. Recreate a favorite scene from my travels, and place it into this pot. Oh. Since the contents of this bonsai affect the mirage, I'd at least like to try my hand at making something. But what style? Should I use plants for the bonsai, like my great-grandfather? Or rocks, like my father and grandfather? <laughs> Perhaps a rock garden would suit me better. So do you need any supplies to make this bonsai? I think I'll need a set of tools and some rocks that can be carved and made into decorations. Got it. We'll help you look. We might just get lucky. <clears throat> if the pot's here, then surely other stuff related to crafting bonsai can't be far away. I concur. Lord Kazuha, take heart in your search, for my retinue and I shall help you retrieve your missing treasures. Thank you, everyone. So we just want to ignore the fact that she skipped over the fact that she said well, crafting rock instead of bonsai. Okay. just at the right moment. What do you think of this rock carving? It's very intricate. I based it on a mountain scene I saw in a book. You know, there are nations in this world where the mountains reach all the way up into the clouds. <sighs> if only I had the chance to see them with my own eyes. Father, 
You can go anywhere whenever you want. That's not true. Though the Kaedehara clan is far from what it used to be, I still bear all the same responsibilities as the clan heads before me. But then again, continuing in the way of our forefathers, sacrificing everything for our declining clan, <sighs> is this really worth it? But I... I don't understand. Kazuha, there's one thing I want you to always remember. Family ties are important, but you ought to not let them hold you back. Family only exists because of the people in it. If we are unhappy, how can we hope to build a joyful one? Message. The events of the past have had a profound impact on our family, but they are not your burden to carry. If you ever grow tired of this tedious life, just drop everything and go off on a journey. See the world. Remember, Kazuha, don't let yourself get tied down in life. Yes, father. I'm sorry, but I just don't understand. Kazuha, have you forgotten our promise? Do you really want to give it all up? But... But even if we're having a rough time, you still have me by your side. Can I be of any help? When you were my age, you were already helping Grandfather out. Am I so incompetent that I'm a disappointment to you? Or... Kazuha! Why am I getting more clarity on his lifestyle? and how he became about than the actual story quest itself. Like, this has detail. This has a background. This has a story. This has residue of the symbolism of what Kaiswa even is. Not only to knowing more about him also us for the viewers it's just like why didn't you add this sort of writing to the story quest yeah his blade is important he talks about it every two to five minutes you play with him but that could have been wrapped up in four to five minutes as a hangout quiz. Now you're blaming yourself for all of this? That's why I failed you as a father. The Kaidehara clan has been paying the price for our past mistakes ever since your great grandfather's generation. <coughs> to this day, we have never fully recovered from it. Though we are a family of bladesmiths, you don't have to devote your life to the family craft. If a wounded animal wants to escape from a trap, it has to sacrifice the hind leg that was caught. You might think of this as a loss, but staying in the trap has far more deadly consequences. Enough now, Kazuha. As the head of the family, I failed to revitalize our clan. You never blamed me for not giving you the life promised to you by our heritage. And I'm grateful enough for that. All these generations of suffering, Let's end them today. From now on, live your life with no burdens. Don't worry. I'll carry the blame for abandoning our family business. Father, please don't. You should not be to blame for not upholding our family name. Even if that day comes, let me share the burden with you. Let's just wait and see. Sooner or later, I will have to lead the Kaidahara clan. When the time comes, I'll deal with all our problems. I feel more of an emotional impact than, of course, than the story quest. 
this is probably the secondary quest I have felt emotionally impacted by since it was the interclude basically introducing Yaelin the tar the tar zone the one with Irito and his gang makes an appearance along with Shinobu uh, I'll put it up on the screen but that has been probably the only time where I felt emotionally a part of the story the the only time I've seen the story played out not the story played out so many times I played Genshin Impact so long I've been so concluded on the background and the upbringing of the game it's just like well okay well okay funny jokes here and there but the writing is actually what can I say it, it's continuous it's a story it's pulling me in to wanting to know more like it's a mini series it's just why don't y'all have that same energy when it comes to these hangout quests for the four stars when it comes to the story quests for the five stars and when it comes i mean yeah we get it in some archon quests but others it's just Man, like, the only Archon quest that really made my jaw drop on the ground, I mean, I'm not comparing a event quest to an Archon quest. I'm just reminiscing here. It's just the only time I actually showed an emotion of, like, oh, my gosh. It's just, I think it was introducing Iazum. No, it was introducing Rain Shogun. And the character I hate the most that I that I will purposely forget her name. And then I'ma just put the name of the Archon Quest I'm describing here. And Guru makes an appearance, then they all have this big little battle right there at the center field of Iazuma. I think that is the only moment where I really went and especially seeing Raiden Shogun for the first time, it's just, where, <laughs> yeah, you have the energy now, but where, where, where did you go wrong? Who's the people behind this? Keep those people so we as the viewers can remain interesting. That's what makes me also nervous about this upcoming Archon quest. I mean, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, we get to introduce some more characters, but it's going to be good. It's going to be rememberable. <clears throat> Maybe if I were more adept in the sword arts, I'd be able to share my father's burdens. This won't do. I'm getting distracted by family matters and making too many mistakes. I yearn to hear the song of Nightingale. My patient ears ready to attend. Okay, I see y'all with the little nightmares reference. The story was getting juicy. <laughs> it seems those are the rules. We entered that maze in the mirage again, but the scene was different this time. The mood was more deflated, and the place more humbly furnished. Yes, that makes sense. What you... Here, everything is broken. Alas, the lock. 
craftier the clan, the more devastating the fall. Broken into pieces and not a single soul around. This must be the way things ended. Come on, let's get moving. timing. I was just reflecting on my life so far, and I think I'm all up to date. So, what do you think of the Kaidahara clan's bonsai? Old things often carry around some form of regret. The Kaidahara clan is no exception. But that's okay. Partings produce reunions. If not at home, then in a distant land. Oh, this mirage is quite fascinating. It presents life like a stage play, with each scene more captivating than the last. They say that astrologists have seen it all. So if this mirage intrigued you, that says it was a worthwhile encounter. <clears throat> How fares thy mood? Main Fräulein inquires as to your present well-being, Lord Kazuha, hoping your heart is not too filled with sorrow. I really hope and pray we get to the bottom of the background, the character, and the flaws official because this, this alone, this quest, this event is making me hate official. There's no way anyone could be cheerful after reliving all that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point. Thank you all for your concern. Fortunately, all those things are past and gone now. When I first saw this bonsai, I thought of the possibility that I needed to wait for you. Perhaps that was why I had to be here on my own. There was supposed to be a dead plant in that flower pot. However, there was nothing there. While we were separated, I had a lot of time to reflect. I think I finally understand now. The mirage is me. The empty flower pot represents the state of my heart. When the heart is clear, the world is too. And when the heart is unladen, the same is true. Clear and unladen. That describes how I feel right now. Although I would not say there are no regrets in this. To be unladen is also to be empty. That's why this bonsai appeared as part of my mirage. It gave me a chance to fulfill my wishes. I never realized. Um, whoever is playing this, can you, like, chill out and let the dialogue be first? Let him finish? The deep down in my heart, I also wanted to make my own bonsai. Perhaps this is what it really means to keep Kaidahara traditions alive. Have you finished doing what you wanted to do, Kazuha? Yes, you could say that. You saw my past self and said goodbye to him. Only when you witness my whole story does it become truly consigned to history. What really matters in life is not how strict we are with ourselves, but the connections we make along the way. There's no future for those who linger on the past. Message. So please believe me. When I say that I've already come a long way, and I intend to go further still, I will always treasure your support. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. 
Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Yeah. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. That was so beautiful. Um, I don't think it's pretty much over yet, but I just wanted to chime in how beautifully written that is and beautifully segwayed <clears throat> that moment is. And I'm still kind of disheartened that Hoyoverse couldn't write this simple version into the story quest, but yeah. Is that it? When I condense this, I'm mostly going to focus on Kazuha. And not the rest of the game because they, they're they not talking about nothing. I, I promise you within the seven minutes, they're probably not going to say nothing important. Everyone must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> What's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. <laughs> mean Fräulein, are you alright? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Uh, yes, mean Fräulein. Hmm. I'll see if I can find something for us to eat. Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's <coughs> volunteering to help. Maybe we should too. Whoa, hey. <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but uh, her highness looks kind of gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. All right, we'll prepare the food. Yeah, they're not talking about nothing important. Hoping a little closing, a little clarity from Kazuha, but no, they're not talking about nothing important. The cops are coming. Mom, it's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shinyan someone they can rely on. We feel the same. All right, I'm. A All right, I'm in it here. Oh, of course, they're not talking about nothing. They're just chit-chatting. Um, final thoughts. I thought I was going to get more of a final thought from Kazuha, but no. This has been Summertime Odyssey, day two. Like, comment. Like, comment. So. Stay safe and stay hydrated.